Well, today we're doing exercise Vigilant Eagle. It's a uh, cooperative event uh, between the U.S., Canada, and Russia. Uh, it's allowing us to exercise some of our uh, security procedures dealing with hijacked aircraft, uh, how we relay information and how we coordinate between countries uh, for mutual defense purposes. It's a, uh, when we talk about the, the defense of U.S., uh, we're also talking about the defense of Canada. So we have the Alaska NORAD region. Uh, it's a uh, cooperative defense uh, situation using uh, American and Canadian resources uh, to defend uh, both countries. And it's uh, therefore a cooperative uh, situation where we want to extend the same mutual defense support to uh, the Russian government. So. Uh, we conduct this exercise such that all three countries are engaged, involved, and then uh, gain a mutual understanding of how each other operates. Uh, it's, it's been a very uh, effective exercise in terms of the, uh, the engagement. Uh, we have sent representatives from the U.S. and Canada over to Russia, uh, and then they have reciprocated by sending representatives from the uh, Russian Air Force to uh, the U.S. and uh, here in Alaska, we have them co-located with us in the exercise control group. Uh, we're coordinating with them to provide the information uh, from the U.S. side over to Russia to inform the uh, Russian military and their aviation authorities on the situation uh, and then let them provide the proper response. So having them here gains, uh, allows us to gain an insight into their thinking, their procedures, uh, and it also allows us to do some real-time coordination if an issue comes up that uh, doesn't really support the exercise scenario, uh, it allows us to resolve that real-time. Uh, and it, it just overall leads to a more effective exercise. I think it's a good one. It's one that's needed. Uh, it's one that because of our proximity, it's just very logical. Uh, we need to have the right command and control, the right communications. Uh, we support each other militarily probably more than a lot of people realize. Uh, it may not always be in a in a supportive role where it's mutual or the outcome is mutually desirable, but in this case it is. It's a it's a situation where we can find common ground uh, and look at a, a mutual defense arrangement that supports both of our needs. So uh, we find that it is very effective.